the Doug Stewart Show, and I am your boy, Doug Stewart. Thank you for joining me. Yes! Really appreciate it. Really appreciate all the love and the word getting out and you telling your friends and passing the word. That's what's up. That's what's up. Listen, not a lot going on in the world of sports, so I had that little itch, so I had to scratch it. We're going to talk some entertainment and uh, talk about the Grammys from last night. Now, if you know the stews and you know how we get down, we have a lot of fun with, with entertainment stories and we just don't talk sports all the time. We talk whatever the people want to talk about. So that's what we're going to do today. And to help me do that is a real blast from the past. All right. People that listen to the Two Live Stews is going to remember this name, is going to remember this voice. And I don't know, she might even laugh. And then you're going to reminisce about her famous laugh. But right now, joining me on the Doug Stewart Show is... My good friend, Jazzy, a.k.a. Jasmine Spears, giving us some entertainment news, talking about the Grammys from last night. Jazzy, how you doing, girl? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fantastic. I'm fantastic. What's going on with you? Before we even start talking about the Grammys, uh, I, I got to ask you, how have you been doing? What's been going on? How's life? <laughs> You've been vacationing at your job. That's a good way to look at it. At least you got a job to go vacation to. Exactly, exactly. All right, let's talk about the Grammys last night and all that goes with it. Uh, usually every year there's something that jumps out and is, is shocking to people. All right, give me your top three stories last night from the Grammys. Okay, my first one, of course, is Jay-Z and Beyonce, our, you know, our black royal couple. Right. Um, I love the performance. A lot of people took to Twitter basically criticizing Beyonce about, you know, her risque performance at 8 p.m., but I thought it was perfectly fine, especially when Jay-Z tapped her on the ass, which I'm so glad I can say that now. <laughs> you know, it was great. What did you think? You know what? I, I, it, it wasn't... Oh, it wasn't one of their best performances, in my opinion. And, and one thing that really jumped out at me, and everybody was talking about it on Twitter, was how much weight it looks like Beyonce's lost. Exactly, yes. It, it, it looks like if she was to get on the scale and weigh 100 pounds, her ass would be like 70, and the rest <laughs> of her body, you know, would be like 30%. Just to me, though. Just to me. Right, right. All right, wh what about story number two for you last night for the 56th Annual Grammy Awards? Okay, Kevin Hart, oh my gosh, he is my heart, literally, but they need to be careful on who they match him up with as far as interviews go. He was matched up with E.T.'s Juliana Ramsey, and when I tell you this woman was like the Eiffel Tower and he was like a tree <laughs> visiting, it was horrible. Yeah, and you know what, one thing about Kevin Hart, we've had him in studio He's really smaller than you even think. Dude is tiny. He's a good guy, but he's real tiny. But, hey, Ride Along is number one in the box office for two weeks in a row, so I guess being short works. Maybe I need to get shorter. Right, right. All right, give us your story number three last night from the Grammy Awards. Okay, Max Love More. Now, this is amazing. Never in a million years have I thought of, well, Eminem has, you know, apparently won a Grammy, but... They took home more than three rap Grammys last night, and I just think it's incredible. It's a huge eye-opener, and it really made me want to say, okay, let me download the album off of iTunes. And then on top of that, this is my thing. I think that Queen Latifah is gay. She hasn't came out the closet with it yet, but I think yesterday was kind of like her inauguration out the closet you know have you ever first Doug have you ever heard any of Macklemore's songs yes I, well never never before until last night and I don't know if I'm not cool because of it but I thought they were good but to get the hype that they're getting so fast it's kind of like a head scratcher it, it, it really is but their message and their words are positive it doesn't match the crime rate that we have in the United States but it, I mean it is their message is really positive but Queen Latifah was actually sworn in as a temporary commissioner by the state of California on Sunday so the 33 marriages that so called had took place during Macklemore's performance to Same Love last night right. was actually legal right yeah and uh, a lot of gay couples got married as well I thought that was very interesting it's 2013 so hey what do you do what do you say it's 2014, Doug, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, it's 2014. The, the song Same Love is actually an anthem for same-sex 
same-sex marriage. So I really enjoyed it, and I, cause to me, that was Queen Latifah basically coming out saying, hey, I'm going to let y'all know this is this is the most I'll let y'all know that I'm actually gay. Right, so right. I loved it. Wow, yeah, wow. I loved it. All right, now, before we get out of here, I got I got to get your thoughts on Pharrell and his big-ass hat that he had on all last night. What do you think about that? Okay, I, I came up with my own conclusion. I think that maybe he's just saying, let's prevent forest fires. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of fires that go on out there, and I just think that maybe that's what he was doing. I, I'm, I'm hoping because, but you know what struck me though? Remember Jay Z got on Dream, the Dream last year uh -huh. about him wearing the Swap Me outfit, right? The Grammy, right? But he kind of supported for real. Every time for real got on stage, Jay Z was clapping, and I'm like, are, like, um, are you, you know, right, you know, right. So it, it really put some questions in my eyes, but hey, for real, has brought Jay Z a lot of money, so that would make me clap too. I wouldn't care what he wore. So R right, that right. Is in my opinion. Finishing but up I with uh, a question. What? Did you hear about the big price everyone is? They have put on everyone's home in the vicinity of the MetLife for the Super Bowl. No. Yes, the Jonas brother. Um, I'm trying to think. You probably wouldn't even know which one if I told you to. But uh, Joe Jonas, his home is actually going for twenty thousand dollars a night, and he lives close to forty-five minutes away from MetLife. Wow! Wow! Yeah. So yeah. people are gonna be making some money for the Super Bowl, huh? A one-bedroom, eight hundred and fifty square feet is going for two thousand one hundred a day. Wow! 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 All right. Listen, before we get out of here, I gotta jump back to the Grammys one more time. And give you my thoughts, or, or I want to ask you about a couple things. One, Draft Punk, they cleaned up last night winning several Grammy Awards. I don't, how do you like, how, what do you think about those robot dudes? Uh, are you with the robot guys, or is it, it does it freak you out like it freaks me out? It's scary to me because it's like, how can these guys win so much with helmets on? <laughs> right, they don't even talk. Right, right. And what about... They almost don't exist in my world because I, I, I can't take it serious. Right, right. I see you, I just don't, I mean, I do love that For Real song, Get Lucky, but I, honestly, if For Real wasn't on it, I probably wouldn't even know that the robots existed. All right, and, and one last thing, Lord, she wins several awards last night for the, uh, for the song Royal. Uh, it, now, they say she's 17 years old. That's a damn lie. She looked every bit of 50 to me. What do you think? Um, You know, nowadays you can get people to make anything, birth certificates, passports, anything. And, you know, a lot of artists in the U.K., they, their number one goal is to break in the States over here. So you, you just never know. She looks like she's maybe 22 on drugs, just personally me. <laughs> Hey, that was my opinion, but she did take best song of the year, and I really do like the song. I'm a little lost on the meaning, but I like the song. Right. Wow. Jazzy, thank you so much for the time. We'll be talking to you some more, talking some entertainment, all right? Thank you. There she Bye. is. There, all right. There she is, Jazzy, right there with the entertainment report. All right. That's my girl, Jasmine Spears, a.k.a. Jazzy, talking a little bit of entertainment news and uh, the Grammys last night. Appreciate it, Jazzy. Listen, one thing about the young lady, uh, Miss Lord, or, or whatever her name is, the song's kind of catchy. I get it, this, that, and the other. It's 2014, and so uh, that thing kind of works, I guess. But somebody got to come clean about her age. She can't be 17. If she's 17 years old, she's been smoking cigarettes since she was five. Because, you know, cigarettes age you. And that young lady looks like she's 47, 48, 49 years old. Believe that. All right, you can email me, Doug, at the Doug Stewart Show. And you can also text the show at 770-847-0536. Continue to pass the word on the show. Tell people, share it, retweet, all of that. And uh, the big thing is to subscribe to the show, all right? I appreciate it. Keep it locked. Sports Talk with Hot Sauce, the Doug Stewart Show.